all too often, I think we don't recognize how much um, medications can be a barrier as far as administration of them. We know that people um, who are at end of life oftentimes change in their ability to swallow and process and handle medications, which can lead to unintended things such as uh, failed efficacy of the drug or even potential problems like choking on the medications. And so the Macy catheter has given us an alternate option that is extremely effective, um, extremely easy for the patient. I have, I have definitely seen and borne witness to the rapid rate of onset, the high nature of perfusion and the visa visorum in, in the area of the rectum where the, where the micron is going. It is um, very predictable. Which, which is in stark contrast to the sublingual route, right? Because we know that, for instance, morphine, liquid morphine that we, that we, we use a lot, we know that medication does not get absorbed sublingually at all. And, and I see evidence of that. People tell me, oh no, it, it's absorbed quickly because it's sublingual, and yet the patient is still telling you they hurt uh, 45 minutes in. It, it's just logical that it, it's the best way when you're having trouble uh, with oral administration to, to give a medication. Respiratory noise is not a pleasant sound. When we hear respiratory noise, and we know that, that that's because people are not swallowing and the gag reflex is altered, the one thing that uh, logically leads to that most of the time is the liquid medications and crushed medications we're trying to give. The loss of dignity in watching somebody and listening to somebody go through that far trumps and outweighs the radical loss of dignity of something that they don't even know is there uh, because they can't feel it. Uh, unsure when they start to hear about a rectal route, the minute that uh, it is explained and then utilized, I've gotten feedback 100% of the time that it works great, not just from the family, but from those patients that actually um, are able uh, to speak to it, that they don't even notice it, that they love it, that it's taken a lot of burden off. And in fact, that is typically the conversation. You have no idea how much burden it offloaded from us and having to give these medications because it was so difficult and it was hard to see them having trouble swallowing them and not knowing if they got the whole dose in them. We want to um, promote comfort and dignity um, uh, at end of life, and it has helped in both of those areas. New things are often um, hard for us, uh, both when maybe medical evidence points towards a different therapeutic option than maybe what we've practiced, or when something novel comes out, new things can be groundbreaking and they can be revolutionary. And uh, ultimately, I think too often we dismiss things by the newness or maybe it sounds too different from what we have done in the past. Really, the proof is in the pudding when the patient, who is the center of care, tells you they are glad that they did something and it is working well for them.